This video covers an electronic project that will inject a square wave signal into a guitar pickup using electromagnetic induction for testing purposes. The Stratocaster guitar is legendary. One of the downsides is you must remove the strings to access the electronics. Whether you build one from scratch or make wiring changes to an existing pick guard, you don't find your mistakes until you put the strings on and play it. The classic way of testing pickups without strings is to tap the pickup's pole piece with a screwdriver. This results in a thud sound. The problem with that is it's often hard to test the tone control. It doesn't sound that much different with the tone control turned down. Putting a square wave signal into a coil generates odd order harmonics. This makes a wide band signal to help with the testing of the tone controls. The magnets need to be removed so it doesn't attract or repel the magnetic field from the guitar pickups. The necessary magnetic field is already there from the guitar's pickup magnets. To generate our square wave, we will use a special configuration of the 555 timer chip. The 555 in its standard configuration cannot generate a 50% duty cycle square wave. This special configuration uses the output to charge and discharge the capacitor through a resistor as opposed to using the discharge pin. The threshold and trigger pins are tied together as with the normal 555 A stable mode. The capacitor charges between 1 3rd VCC and 2 3rds VCC. This gives us a square wave output where the time the signal is high equals the time the signal is low. Here's the equation for the frequency of the square wave. If you haven't seen it, you may want to watch my stable multi vibrator video to learn where the natural log of 2 came from. Let's rearrange to solve for R1 using a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a frequency of 1 kilohertz, we get 7,213 ohms. The closest 1% value is 7.15k ohms. Here's the schematic. A 9 volt battery is used with a momentary contact push button switch to apply power. The output is connected to a Telecaster neck pickup. I chose that pickup based on its small size and its affordability. You can find them on eBay at the time this video was made for around $11. When this signal is high, the required output current is only 1.2 milliamperes. That makes the LMC555 CMOS version of the 555 a good choice to reduce battery drain. Here's the circuit board layout I came up with. You can take a screenshot of it and use it or roll your own. Placing the coil next to the pickup injects the signal based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. The first equation to consider is Lin's Law. Lin's Law indicates that the induced electromotive force, E, and the rate of change of magnetic flux have opposite signs. The left-hand rule can be used to see the direction of the current versus the magnetic field. For a loop of wire in a magnetic field, the magnetic flux, V sub B, is defined for any surface sigma whose boundary is a given loop. B dot dA is the vector dot product representing the element of flux through dA. Applying Lin's law to the Faraday's law gives us an equation for the voltage induced by the changing magnetic field. Our case is a constantly changing field due to the square wave, so that we don't care about the negative sign. Here's a picture of the inside of the box. I put a link in the description to the project box I used. It seems to be the perfect size. I screwed the circuit board into one of the four boss features in the bottom of the box. The Telecaster pickup, with pole pieces removed, was screwed to the side of the box with two number 440 flathead machine screws. The momentary contact push button switch was placed a fingertip distance from the edge. In my case, it was two and five eighths for my forefinger. There's a piece of foam glued to the lid to hold the battery in place. Here's a more close up picture of the box. Here's the Telecaster neck pickup with the pole pieces removed. I held the pickup in a vise and used a hammer and a punch to tap them out. It took little effort. Here's a demonstration of the signal injector. 
Just wave it over the pickup you want to test. The tone control functionality is clearly heard as the harmonics of the square wave are rolled off. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.